गुड इवनिंग वेलकम एवरीबॉडी गुड इवनिंग टीचर हे मार्लोन क्रिस वेलकम टू द क्लास ओके लेट्स बिगिन लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्लास Okay, let's practice the numbers. Good. Listen, please. Page 6, exercise 11. Personal information. Part A. Listen and practice. Zero. O. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now listen and repeat, please. Zero. You can also say with, say, Numbers, especially telephone numbers, O. Now repeat, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay? Now listen to this information and then we're going to practice. Page six, exercise 11, part B. Pair work. Practice these phone numbers and email addresses. Then listen and check your answers. Allison Parker, 402-555-2301. Work phone, 646-486-2301. A Parker one at CUP dot ORG Email address Kenji Mori two one two nine two four one seven six four Home phone six four three five 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 two two eight five Cell phone. Kenji Mori O nine at Cambridge dot org. Email address. Okay. So these are the um, telephone numbers, right? And also the email address, right? Okay. Let me see. Dagoberto, can you help me, please? Can you read the, the red, the green card, please? The information of the, Alison Parker. Uh, no, no escuché. Okay, only, only read the information of Alison Parker, please. The word phone, the cell phone, and the email address. Read, please. Four o. Alison Parker four zero two five 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 two three zero one. Okay. When you say uh, uh, Dago, when you say these numbers, you also can say look. Oh. Listen. Page six, X, part A. Listen and practice. Zero. Oh. 
Oh, right? So you can also say, oh. Now, please, again, Alison Parker. I don't understand. Okay. Say four, oh, two. I mean, you can say zero. No problem. You can say zero. But uh, when you say this information, the word O, okay, look at this. For example, you say her work phone number is 402. Instead of say zero, you say O, right? Okay. Okay, please. Four o two. Four o two. Five five five. Two three o one. Good. Continue. Cell phone six four six. Four eight nine eight six. One o o four. A Parker one. At cap dot o r g. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, the same information. Alison Parker again, please. Alison Parker, uh, four o two five 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 two three o one. Work phone. Uh, six four six uh, four eight six. Uh, one o o four cell phone. Uh, a Parker, continue. yeah, a, a, par par a, a Parker. Uh, one at cop uh, dot or email address. Good, thank you very much. Right now, Glenda, can you read about Kenji Mori? Kenji Mori, please. Glenda? Hola. Can you read about Kenji Mori, please? Permit. Kenji Mori. Eh, home phone. Two, one, two, nine, one, eh, two, four, one, seven, six, four. Yes. Cell, cell phone. Uh, six four three five 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 two two eight five Gmail okay. IG can you more o nine at Cambridge dog o r g thank you very much Marlon please Kenji Mori again. Kenji Mori. Okay. Home phone two one two nine um, two four uh, one seven six four. Cell phone six four three five 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 two two. Eight five. Uh, email address Kenji Mori of night at Cambridge uh, dot o r g. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Right. So this is the information about numbers and email address. Right. Now we're going to uh, practice with some conversation. Right between Nicole and and David, right? And Steven. Okay, let's practice. It says, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? The answer is no. I'm not. No, I'm not, good. No, I'm not. My name is David. My name is... David Medina. Steven? 
R. Stephen R. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Rick. He looks fake. Is. Is, is. right? Mm -hmm. Is. Okay. Oh, sorry. And Nicole says, you, Stephen Carson? Are you? Are you, right? Are you Stephen Carson? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hi, Nicole Johnson. I am. I am, right? Oh, we can use contraction. We can say I'm. I'm Nicole jo uh, Johnson, right? Oh, is or are in you in my class, in my math class, right? I don't know, sorry. Is, uh huh. Is you or are you? You. Are you? You, right? Are you? Are you in my math class, right? Yes, I am. Um, yes, I am. And then I am, he is, it is, or they are. Sorry? Is. It's. 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 It's nice it's to meet you. Nice. It's nice to meet you, right? Okay. Now repeat after me, please. Excuse me. Are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. My name is David Medina. Steven is over there. Oh, sorry. Are you Steven Carson? Yes, I am. Hi. I'm Nicole Johnson. Oh, are you in my math class? Right? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Ok, I guess I, there is a mistake. Creo que aquí me equivoqué. Vamos a ver si vamos a corregir. Right? It's not are you, because el eh, signo pre pregunta va para right. So, in this case is you are, right? You are in my, my class, in my math class. Yes, that does it, right? You are in my math. Right? Ok, good. Now, um, we're going to take the attendance. Please say present when you hear your name. Eh, Ana Maria. Present. Welcome. Eh, Brian. Hello, Brian. Do you copy? Uh, I remember I saw Brian. Me parece haber visto Brian por ahí. No, no. Okay. Eh, Claudia. Ah, Claudia. Um, no va a estar ahora. Ya me acordé. Yo permiso. Eh, Chris. Here. Thank you. Daisy. Dagoberto. Present. Eh, Glenda. Present. Griselda. Present. Jorge. Josué. Present. Thank you, Josué.
Carolina. Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you. Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Mario va a estar de oyente, ¿verdad, Mario? Present teacher, I am here. Eh, oyente. No, aquí estamos con todo ya. Ah, teacher. ok. Good, good, good. Con todo descascarado, pero ahí vamos. Ok, Mario y Marcela, congratulations to be there, for, right? Uh, to make the effort. Gracias por hacer el esfuerzo. Pero esperamos que sigan mejorando. Yes. Marlon. I'm present here. Thank you. Maybe. Otmar. Otmar. Ok, thank you. Saúl. Present. Thank you. Jansi. Miss Álvarez Aguilar. Ok, good. So, Ana María and Chris, please. Ana María, your Nicole. Chris, your David. Ana María, Nicole. Chris, David, and... Uh, Teacher, I got a question. Tell me. Uh, in the sentence that we read, oh, you are in my math class, right? Mm -hmm. Why... We gotta put you are first and no are you. Ah, because I made a mistake. Es que me equivoqué. El, el símbolo de pregunta solo es para right. Ok, así mire, eh, Chris. Como hay una coma, la pregunta solo es verdad. Tú eres, tú estás en mi, mi clase de matemática, verdad. Right. You are Chris, right. Usted es Chris, verdad. Right. So the, word, the word right is, es el que lleva la pregunta, ¿sí? Entonces ahí wow. como que, sí, yo, yo al principio lo puse así porque vi el símbolo de pregunta, pero no, había una coma aquí, entonces, por eso es okay. que you are, you are. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's continue. Okay. So, uh, uh, Ana María, you're Nicole. Chris, you're, you're David. Right? And uh, Dagoberto, you're, you're Steven, right? Ok, good. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three, action. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No, I'm not. My name is David Medina. Steven is over there. Oh, sorry. Are you Steven Carson? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Nicole Johnson. Oh, you are in my math class, right? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, class. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Good. Let's practice link sound, right? Link sounds. Link is to put together, right? Link. Now listen, please. Page six, exercise 10. Pronunciation. Linked sounds. Listen and practice. Notice the linked sounds. I'm Antonio. She's over there. You're in my class. Okay, now repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. I'm Antonio. She's over there. You're in my class. Listen, it's not I'm Antonio. No, no, it's I'm Antonio. It's not she's over there. No, she's over there. She's over. She's over. She's over there. You're in my, no. No, you're in is. You're in. You're in my mass class. In my class, sorry. <laughs> You're in my class. Okay. Now, please, can you repeat, um, Glenda?
An Antonio. She's our third. You're my class. Okie dokie. Please, Griselda. Okie dokie. Now let's continue with more practice. More practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to practice more number, right? But before to practice number, let's practice this conversation. Please. Page 19, exercise 6, conversation. He's cute. Listen and practice. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. The baby of the family. Are you the baby of the family? Okay. So, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Cute. Listen and practice. Repeat. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, the baby of the family, right? Again, repeat us to me, please. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. We call him Jim. Oh. How old is he? He's 21 years old. 21. He's 21 years old. What's he like? What's he like means, y como es él, right? Y como es él, right? What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too.
And who's that? My sister, Tommy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. She's the baby of the family. Okay, now let's practice. Uh, we have um, Marcela, right? Marcela, you're Emma. And Ernesto, you're Jim, right? Jill, sorry, Jill. Ready? Yes. Really. One, yes. one, two, three, action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. James. We call him Jim. Oh, who is he? He's 21 years old. What he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who? And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. Uh, she's the baby of the family. Good. Excelentoso. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mario, please, you're Emma. And Marlon, you're Jill. Right? Ready? Again. One, two, three. Action. Who's that? <clears throat> he's, my bro uh, he's my brother. Wow. He's cute. He's cute. What's his name? <clears throat> Jim. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is she? How old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? Is he nice? Yes, he is, and um, she's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She is two baby of the family. The baby of the family, okay? Nice. Okay, class. Now, let's continue and let's practice a little more numbers. More number, right? Remember, here, we were practicing with these numbers. Again. Page 6, exercise 11. Personal information. Part A. Listen and practice. Zero, O, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, listen. One. You know, one, one, one. No, no. One. Mm. And, 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 and one. Two, three, sa, 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 po, sa, 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 po. three, four, don't say four, 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 five, it's not five, it's five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, Eight, nine, nine, ten, 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 right? Okay, with this pronunciation, now we go to the other numbers. Now listen, please. Page 19, Exercise 7, Numbers and Ages. Part A. Listen and Practice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred and one, one hundred one, one hundred and two, one hundred two, one hundred and three, one hundred three. Okay, this is the correct pronunciation of the number, right? Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Eleven. Twelve. With F. F. Twelve. Thirteen. I get a question. Uh, yes, Chris? And one hundred and one said and is optional. Yeah, totally right. You can say one hundred one or one hundred and one. Yeah, it's option. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. The same happened with thousand. We say one thousand and one. Mil uno, right? One thousand and one. So it's the same, the same, quite the same. Now, please listen and repeat. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Calcetin. Oh, no, sorry, excuse me. It's 19 only. Okay. 20. You can say 20 or 20. 20 or 20. Okay. 21. 22. 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, or you can say 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 101, 101, 102, 102. 103, 103, okay, good, 
Now listen and compare, please. Page 19, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen and practice. Listen and Notice practice. the word stress. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Now listen again. Page 19, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen and practice. Notice the word stress. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay, now, some volunteers to practice this. Um, can you help me, please? Um, Otmar? Please, read, Otmar. Only you. Only you. Ready, Otmar? The microphone is okay. No, Omar is out, right? Senos fue Omar. Um, let me see. Um, so, Saul, please. Read, Saul. Neither Saul. También se nos salió Saul. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ana Maria, please. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay, thank you, Chris. Hi. Read, please. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Notice the difference, right? 13. You don't say 13. No, 13. And the other one is 30. 13, 30, 14. 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Okay? Very good. Hello, Alessandro. Alessandro. Hey, boy. Nice to see you. What's new, boy? Say hello, hello. Hello. Alessandro Gomez. Hello. Bye bye. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Right? <laughs> yes. We have a visitor. Tenemos un visitante, right? Good. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Now, page 23, we're going to practice the colors. Colors. Listen, please. Page 
Page 23, Exercise 2, Colors. Part A, Listen and Practice. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Okay. Very good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. White. Light gray. Light meaning in this case, gris claro. Gris claro. Light gray. Good. Repeat, please. Gray. Dark gray. That means gris oscuro. Okay. Now, beige. Light brown. Cafe claro, right? Repeat, please. Brown. Dark brown. Café oscuro. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Verde claro, right? Green. Dark green. Light blue. That is azul claro or celeste, right? Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. That is azul. Azul oscuro, right? Similar to the eyes of the teacher. <laughs> no, no. So dark blue. Repeat, please. Purple. Good. Now, with this information, we're going to go to uh, this conversation. And let's practice, right? Listen. Page 23, exercise 3, conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Good. Now, it's a disaster. Listen and repeat, please. Page 20. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Great. Our, our clothes are dry. Repeat, repeat. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. 
It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Good. Now repeat after me again. Repeat after me. Great. Our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. Great. Our clothes are dry. What is my new blouse? Repeat, please. What is my new blouse? What color is it? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. Teacher, tengo el problema de que se escucha muy suave. No sé si es mi teléfono o, o mm, no sé qué. Bueno, vamos a ver una cosa. Vamos a dejar de compartir y vamos a compartir otra vez. Déjeme revisar mi volumen. Está al 100%. Micro. Oh, what? One, 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 three, one, two, one, one, one. Copy, copy. Hello, hello. Okay, now. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two. Listen. And practice. Great. Our clothes are dry. Uh-huh. And now? Escucho muy suave, pero no sé qué le ha pasado a mi teléfono. No, okay. And Chris, ¿usted cómo escucha, Chris? Chris? Se escucha bien. Yo, yo no tengo problemas de audio. Mm, okay. Uh, ¿Alguien más que tenga problemas bueno, solo, de audio? Bueno, solo soy yo, teacher. Sí, sí, Marlon, sorry. Bueno, no sé. Porque no puedo utilizar audífonos. ¿No tiene unos audífonos por ahí, Marlon? No tengo ahorita audífonos. Ay, sí, bueno. Ojalá se estabilice, porque también puede eh, salir y entrar otra vez. Salir y entrar otra vez, Marlon. No sé si por ahí tal vez pueda estar la solución. No, no, no sé. Si no, tal vez esperamos que, que se estabilice su su señal, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, please, repeat after me. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? What color is it? Is 
it's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Light blue blouse. Is it yours? No. It's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's here's the problem. Excuse me. <laughs> here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are these? Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, let's practice the conversation, right? Okay. So, Ana Maria, please help me again. Ana Maria, your path. And, and Christian, Chris, you're going to be Julie. Okay? Now, one, two, three. Which roles? Which roles? Sorry. Uh, Pat is Ana, Ana Maria. And Christian, you're Julie. Okay. Good. Now, one, two, three. Action. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. He has a light blue blues. Is it yours? No, it's not. My. Wait. Is it my? Is it my? Is a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are like blue. Here's the problem, is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are this? Ah, uh, they're mine, sorry. No problem, Chris. Thank you, thank you, Ana Maria, thank you, Chris. Now, Dagoberto and Glenda, please. Dagoberto, your path. Glenda, you're Julie, right? One, two, three, action. Read, our clothes are dry. What is my new blues clothes? What color is this? It's white. Here's a large blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, are you close our light blue? Here's not here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Oh they man is sorry. Okay, okay. No problem, Glenda. Don't say sorry, no problem. <laughs> okay, good. Now to finish, we're going to practice the months of the year. Right. Let me see. Okay.
we're practicing general vocabulary, right? Now, please listen. Unit 11. What are you going to do? Page 72, Exercise 1. Months and Dates. Part A. Listen and practice the months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Okay. And now we're going to practice the ordinal numbers. Listen, please. Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, Okay, again. Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Remember in Spanish we say primero de abril. 2 de abril. Ah, primero y dos. So we use uh, ordinal numbers and then we say uh, cardinal number, right? But here, no. In, in English, you say all the days of the month, like we say ordinal numbers. So we say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, right? Okay, and notice, please, that... We say ST because the ST, right? We say uh, ND because the ND. We say third because it's the RD. And fourth because the TH, right? Okay? Good. So that's the way we say. Now, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. First. Second. Third. 
third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third. Twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth. Thirty first. Okay, that's it. Class, any question? Any question? Disculpas, teacher, se me fue la energía. Oh, welcome back, Mario. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, uh, I will open the the presentation for today. To begin, right? We are in class number 11 today. <clears throat> okay, here we are, right? Okay. Now, please. Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. This is basic number one, beginner one, right? And today is class 11. Class 11, right? And today is November, November 14th. 14th. Huh? You know, November 14th, right? And today we're going to learn about information questions. My goodness, information questions. Remember, we were practicing with, practicing with affirmative, negative, and yes, no questions. Today, we're going to learn about the information question, right? Now, what is the objective for today? Mario, can you read, please, the objective for today? I I we able to describe the different <clears throat> departments in my workplace and what they do? Good. <clears throat> the departments, right? The financial department, human resources department, okay, uh, customer service department, etc., right? etc. Cetera, et cetera. And what do they do? So please look. The first one, the first department is production. Production control and supervise the production workforce and inventory, right? The production, lo, lo que produce la compañía, right? The production and inventory, y lo que tienen en stock, inventory, right? That is the production. The next department is research and development, right? 
Investigación y Desarrollo, Departamento de Investigación y Desarrollo, sí. Research and Development. Develop, design new or improve existing products or process, right? Desarrolla, diseña productos nuevos o mejora los que existen, right? Also the process. Number three, purchasing. Purchasing, right? Compra, departamento de compras. Buy and acquire material, raw material, you know, uh, materia prima o materia cruda, raw material, product, production equipment, etc. Or the use of the organization. Okay, all these materials that you buy, the purchasing company buys, uh, is for the use of the organization, right? Purchasing. Marketing. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Lo que el cliente quiere y necesita, right? That is, that is the marketing. Human resources management. Departamento de Recursos Humanos, right? Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Recluta, selecciona y entrena, right? Employees for the right job in the company. Estén hechos para el trabajo preciso en la compañía. Okay? Secretary to secretary, accountant for accountant, right? Doctor for doctor, eh, manager for manager, etc., 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 right? Then accounting and finance. Accounting and finance, right? Accounting means the, to keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. In, out. Inflows and outflows. Eh, mantiene el récord financiero de las transacciones que tienen que ver con las entradas y salidas de pisto. Inflows and outflows. Cool. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Production. Control and supervise the production workforce. Control and supervise the production workforce. An inventory. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Research and development. Develop, design new, or improve existing products or processes. Develop, design new, or improve existing products or processes. Purchasing. Buy and acquire raw material. Buy and acquire raw material. Production equipment, etc. For the use of the organization. For the use of the organization. Marketing. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Human resources management. Human Resources Management. 
recruit, select, and train. New employees for the right job in the company. New employees for the right job in the company. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Keep the financial record. Keep the financial record of transactions. Involving monetary inflows and outflows. Involving monetary inflows and outflows. Okay, let's read together, right? Let's read together. Uh, so let me see. Josue, can you help me, please, Josue? Read the first one, production, please. Listen to Josue, class. Production, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Okie dokie, Josue, thank you. And can you help me, please, Marcela? <clears throat> uh, research and development. Research and development. Develop the same new or improve existing production or process. Good. Design. Design. Right? Design. Good. Thank you, Marcela. Number three, please. Ernesto. Purchasing. 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 Buy and acquiring raw material, production equipment, et, et, etc. 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 Et for the for the use of the organization. Organization. Good. Say R raw material. Raw material. Production. Production. Equipment. Equipment. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Mario, please, marketing. Research and identify what customers <clears throat> want I need at the right place. Research means uh, investigar, right? Research. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Marlon, please. Human resources management. Marlon? Can you hear me, Mario? Hey, Marlon, sorry. Marlon? Parece que le sigue fallando el volumen a Marlon. Okay. So we're going to continue, right? Eh, Otmar, please. Human Resources Management. Otmar? Human Resources Manager, the cool, select and try new employee for the right job in the company. Okay, thank you very much, Omar. Now, please, Saul. No sé si Saul logró entrar nuevamente. No, All right. No, okay. So, Ana Maria, please. Accounting and Finance. Accounting and finance, please. Accounting and finance. Keep the financial record of trans transaction involving monetary inflows and outflows. Okie dokie, good. Now, with this information, we're going to go to the manual. And let's make this exercise together, right?
production, research and development, purchasing, marketing, human resources management, accounting, and final, right? Production. No, no, let's let's go to this information, right? Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. So what department is this? Marketing. Sorry? For marketing. Marketing, marketing. marketing is correct. Cling. Totally correct. Number four. Good. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. What is it? No. Number five. Resources management. Resource management. Okay. Nice. Okay. Next one. Keep the financial re record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Number six. six. Number six. Correct. Counting on finances. And finance. And finance, right? Good. Finance. Finance, correct. Finance. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Fine. Number production. one. That is production. Good. Uh, develop, design new, or improve existing products or processes. Research. Research and development. So that's number two, right? That's number two. Good. Buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Sorry? Purchase. Purchase Fisher, right? I have a question. Yes, Marlon? What do you mean in purchasing? Purchasing. Compras. Purchasing. Compras. Ah, compras. Okay. Mm -hmm. Compras. Departamento de compra, right? Purchase. That is the to, to buy the material for internal use. Internal use, right? Okay, class. Very good. Congratulations. Now, let's continue with the presentation, right? Now, look at this. Workforce. Inventory. Develop. Design, improve, acquire, raw material, research, customers, recruit, Train, inflows, outflows. Okay, questions? And the word purchase, right? Purchase or purchasing, that is comprar. No questions? So let's continue, right? Now, let's go to the grammar. Let's see, vamos a la gramática. Ready? What are the information questions, right? The information questions are used to request information that has not been previously mentioned. Para pedir información que no sabemos, que no ha sido mencionada, right? Unlike just no questions, information questions always contain a supposition, okay? Siempre hay una suposición. Yes. Uh, for example, we say that um, yes, no question. You say only yes, no, right? You say, do you live in Cujucuyo? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you like Chuco? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she eat ayote squash, you know, squash pupusas? Squash pupusas? Yes, she does. No, she does. So this is a yes or no, right? But opposite of the information question, we have a supposition, right? Uh, what day? When? Who? 
where, which, etc., etc., right? And these words always start with a WH word. WH word. What, where, when, why, which, how, whose, whom, and who, right? Now, please. What? What refers to theme, right? Cosas. Abstract and concrete, right? For example, we say the table is concrete. The, the name is abstract, right? Okay, who refers to people? Persona, right? Where refers to place? Lugares. When refers to time? Tic-tac. Tic-tac, right? Whose refers to possession? Who's this pencil? The quien es de lapis? Quien es de lapis? Who's this pencil? Whose? Why refers to reason? Por qué? Why? Por qué? Reason, right? And which refers to choice? Which refers to choice? Opción. Escoger algo, right? Which? Whom refers to people, but as an object, right? A quien, a quien. No quien, sino que a quien, whom. And how refers to manner and form, manera or form. Good, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What? Who? Where? When? Whose? Why? Which? Whom? How? Okay. Good. Now, any question? Any question? No questions? Very good. Okay, here we have some example with information question with verb to be, right? Aquí hay algunas preguntas de información usando el verbo to be, pero la vamos a ver rápido para que no se me confundan, porque el propósito es eh, con el presente simple, right? Where are they from? ¿De dónde son ellos, right? What is your name, lady? ¿Cuál es tu nombre, right? Okay, now, the most important. Is, hoy sí vamos a la parte más importante. Simple present information question. I repeat. Ya vimos oraciones afirmativas. Ya vimos oraciones negativas. Ya vimos preguntas de sí y no. Y ahora vamos a ver preguntas de información. Information question, right? Okay. Good. Now, the, ele the first element is WH word. WH word. Right? What in this case, right? But it could be what, where, when, etc., etc., right? Okay. Uh, does is the auxiliary. It could be do or does, right? And, um, the subject is he, right? The verb is do. And the complement that is on vacation, right? So we have four parts. Please remember this. Vamos a memorizarnos estas cuatro partes. Ready? Desde aquí hasta el viernes, solo eso vamos a ver. Estas cuatro partes. Ready? WH word. Auxiliary. Subject and verb. WH word, auxiliary, do on, or that, right? Do or that. Subject, he, she, they, we, Pepito, Maria, Juan, Kirulais, subject. And number four, the verb, the action. Do, work, uh, eat, analyze, buy, uh, try, drink, drive, etc. Et actions, 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 right? Again. 
WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Mario, repeat, please. WH word. WH word. Auxiliary. Subject. <clears throat> verb. Okay, that's it, right? Four. WH word. Auxiliary, subject, and verb. Marlon, only you, please. You are going to describe the four parts of the information question. The four parts of the information question. So, number one, repeat this. W is word. W. W is word. W H. W H. Word. 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 Auxiliary. Auxiliary verb. Auxiliary. Subject. Subject. Verb. Verb. Good. Again, only you, please. WH word. WH word. Does. Auxiliary. 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 Subject. Verb okay, and complement. Uh, complement is not important. It's the common. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But the verb is four part, right? Good. Jose, oh, please. Jose. Thank you. Jose, please. Sí. Okay. Can you read the four parts of the information question, please? Repeat, Jose. W is word. W is word. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Subject. Subject. Verb. Verb. Only you. Ready? Uh, w is word. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Uh, subject. Complete. Bear, no bear. Ah, bear, bear, bear. Yes, that's it, right? That that is the most important. Okay, one more, one more, please, Marcela. Only you. Wh word. Wh word. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Subject. Subject. Verb. Verb. Only you. Wh word. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb. Good, Chris. Only you. W is word, auxiliary, subject, complement. Verb. W is word, auxiliary, subject, verb, okay, and good. complement. No, no, complement no. Complement is not important. Okay. Only four, only four. W is word. W is word, auxiliary, and verb. subject, and, and verb. verb. No more, right, Ernesto? Only you. Only you. Repeat, teacher. Please. Okay. Uh, w A word. Auxiliar. Subject. Y complement. No, verb. Okay, vamos a uh, borrar uh, el no, Number two. Vamos a borrar el complement, permítanme, porque muchos me están confundiendo. Vamos a borrar el complement. Ok, let me see. Verb. Aquí vamos a borrar el complement, porque veo que se me están confundiendo ahí. Ok, ready? Okay. WH word, auxiliary, yeah. subject, and verb. Please, only you. Ok, WH word, uh, auxiliary, subject, verb. Good, that's it, right? Thank you. Dago, please, only you. WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb. Excellent, right. Glenda. WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb. Okay, nice. Right. Uh, Griselda. WH word, 
Auxiliary subject in verbs. Okay, thank you very much. Reina Maria? WH word, auxiliary subject verb. Okay, that's it, right? Uh, are you going to forget? Se le va a olvidar de aquí el viernes? What do you say? Yes or no? <laughs> w, no, okay. It's a promise, right? It's una promesa. WH word. Auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Okay. Now let's, ah, here we have another one, right? When do you play football? Is this one. What does he do on vacation? When do you play football? When is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary. You is the subject. Play is the verb. And that's it. Okay, estas no son muy importantes. Vamos a esta mejor. What do I do? Where do you work? When do you go? Do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? And what time do you take breakfast? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? I, I supervise. Yo superviso. Where do you work? ¿Y en dónde trabajamos? Dime. Ah, en el departamento de contaduría. Right? Accounting department, right? And when do you go to meetings? Two times a week. ¿Cuándo? Two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? ¿Y cómo planean ellos el marketing? Ah, bueno. Sure. Investigan. Yes, Dago? La primera, what do I do? Con la respuesta, ¿está mal formulada sí, la está pregunta? Mal formulada. Está mal formulada. Sí, está mal formulada. Eh, what do que you do? What do you do? Sí, ahí está mal formulada. Pero el libro tiene varios errores. Así que el manual. Así que por eso lo he dejado ahí nada, ¿verdad? Ok. So what? ¿Qué es lo que haces? Superviso. ¿Dónde trabajas? En el departamento de contabilidad. ¿Cuándo vas a las reuniones? Dos veces a la semana. ¿Cómo planean el marketing? Ah, investigamos. De esa forma, de esa manera. ¿En what time do you take? Uh, at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., right? ¿Understand? Ok, la clave es acá eh, saber para qué sirve what, para qué sirve where, para qué sirve when, etcétera, etcétera. What is for things, para cosas. Where is for place, lugares. When is for time. How is for, para forma, manera. Excuse me, ¿cómo planean? Ok. And the last one, what time is, a qué, qué hora, qué tiempo, right? Okay, now let's go to make an exercise. Ahora sí, ya, ya vamos, pasamos la teoría y vamos a la estructura, okay? When do you play football? Remember, when do you play? When do you play? When is WH word? Do is the auxiliary. You is the subject and play the verb, right? Que no se le olvide esas cuatro partes, ¿ok? Now, question number one, please. The question is for... Uh, for Otmar, please. What time do you usually go to bed? What time, Otmar? What time? In the night. Nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Otmar. Otmar goes to bed at night, right? Bueno, ahora que está con clases de inglés, pues me imagino que tipo diez y media, ¿verdad? Pero, pero usualmente los sábados y domingos, pues, a las siete ya, mira. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sí. Okay, thank you, Otmar. Thank you very much. Now, eh, Saúl. Saúl se desconectó, ¿verdad? Bueno. Ana María, please. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Uh, I get up in uh -huh. the five. At five. At five. Oh, very early, Ana María. Thank you. Chris, what do you usually have for breakfast? What? Eggs. Every morning. No, but what? 
Eggs, chicken, soup, vegetables. Pancakes. Pancakes. Oh. Sea. Al mar no le digo mar, le digo, o sea, no, pancakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, please. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Good. And what do you often have for lunch? For lunch, yumi yumi. Glenda, what do you usually have for lunch, Glenda? Guan. For, for lunch, what food? Chicken, soup, Ay. pasta, rice. Pizza. Oh, pizza. pizza for lunch. Mm. <laughs> Excelentoso, Glenda. Now, please, Griselda. What do you usually watch? Watch on TV. I usually watch uh, movies, series. Oh. Movies and series. In anime. Ah, I like it. Anime, for example. El viaje de Chihiro. El viaje de Chihiro. Ah. One Piece, the Yutsu Kaisen. Chainsaw Man. Etc. 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 Wohayo Kozaimas. Wohayo Kozaimas. Okay. And where do you sometimes go shopping? Um, Jose, where do you go shopping? <clears throat> In Sunday. No, no, no. The question is, where do you go to Siman, Sara, Berska? Uh, do you go to Baje Mese? Shopping ah, Center? Bueno, El Agachón? <laughs> One dollar. Two dollars. <laughs> so, where do you go shopping? Donde, ajá. <clears throat> Como le explico, <laughs> depende. <laughs> uh, for example, do you go to Prisma? Mm, digamos que sería en Jeff parece ¿Mm? creo que sería no es como algo así como le explico mm -hmm. no sería de todos los <ríe> o sea depende de la ocasión donde vaya uno a comprar <ríe> no okay, sé cómo good. responder la verdad <ríe> okay Josué por ejemplo Christmas en Navidad a qué lugar va a comprar la ropa where do you go shopping ahí sí sería eh... In Simán. Simán. O sea. Al mar no le digo mar, le digo o sea, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> al río no le digo río, le digo corriente. Ok. No, that's ok, José. Simán is ok. Hay buenas ofertas de vez en cuando, sí. Yes. Simán. But also, shopping center is a good option. Like this, right, huh? Ah, uh, here, right? Economic. <laughs> okay, good. What kinds of book do you often read? Thank, thank you, Jose. Eh, antes que nada, Jose, no sé si eh, puede quedarse 10 minutos después de la clase conmigo. Sí, sí, está bien. Sí se puede, okay. Excelentoso, okay. Thank you very much, Jose. Now, um, Marcela, right? Marcela. What kinds of book? ¿Qué tipo de libros? What kinds of book do you read? The terror. Oh. The terror. Horror. Horror books. <laughs> El regreso de la suegra. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. la, vis la visita al Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh. Horror movies. <laughs> terror. <laughs> Yes, okay. Very good. Thank you, Marcela. Thank you very much. Now, Ernesto, what kinds of music? <clears throat> I listen to I listen to music Christiana. Gospel music. Yes. Only gospel. What? Only gospel. Only gospel. Gospel, uh -huh. look, I will copy for you, right? 
Uh -huh. Música religiosa es gospel. Yes, gospel. Ok. Gospel music. Gospel music. Only, only gospel. Catholic o evangelic. Evangelic. Ah, good. For evangelic, I like uh, Adrián Jesús Romero. Jesús Adrián yes. Romero, something like that, right? Mágicas princesas. I love that song, right? Me fascina la canción. Me encanta. This is Mágicas princesas. In, in the Catholic, uh, gospel Catholic, uh, the music of Dei Verbum, for example, right? I am not religious. Yo no soy religioso, pero I like this, this music. José Adrián Romero en en Dei Verbum. Ángeles todos en mi habitación. Okay. Gospel music, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Perdón por mi falta de información, pero no, no me puedo muchas canciones. <ríe> ok. Good. Al teacher pregúntenle de rock. <ríe> Good. Thank you very much. Now notice, please, these are information question. Look. We have WH word. Auxiliary. Subject and verb, right? Other example. Uh, I'll see W is word. Auxiliary. Subject and verb, right? Yes? Y así podemos ir en todas. En todas las preguntas. Cuatro palabras que nos vamos a aprender de memoria esta noche. Y de aquí hasta el viernes les voy a preguntar. WH Word, Auxiliary, Subject and Verb. ¿Se los aprendieron? Si quieren, copien. WH Word, Auxiliary, Subject and Verb. Right? Okie dokie. Let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we finished. Good. We finished. Right now we'll share another material. Le vamos a compartir otro material. So. Yes. Hoy pura teoría, ¿verdad? Hoy sí que le hemos dado a la teoría. Poquita práctica. Pura teoría, right? Okay. Good. Uh, we're going to practice with this. Page 39. Okay, good. This is for you to compare the yes, no questions and the information question. Yes, no question and information question. Listen, please. Page 39, exercise 7, grammar focus. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, good. Now notice the difference between yes, no question and information question. Yes, no question, we have only yes or no. Simple. Do you get up early? Se levanta temprano. Eh, I wake up at three o'clock. No, 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 no. Me pregunté si se levantaba, sí o no. Temprano. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Does he eat lunch at noon? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do they take the shoes on the bus to class? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes or no? Yes or no, right? Now, the information question, for example, when do they take the subway? 
when is the information question word? When do they take, right? When do they take? When is the information question word? Do is the auxiliary. They is the subject and take is the verb. Information question word, auxiliary. Subject and verb, right? Ahí están, cuatro, yes? Uh, estas preguntas se llaman WH question. Preguntas de w, WH, porque todas tienen WH, ¿eh? todas tienen. Y otro nombre que reciben es information question. Preguntas de información. ¿Por qué? Porque nos están dando información específica. No solo aceptan o niegan algo, ¿no? Yes or no, sino que... Eh, no están dando información específica, ¿ok? That is the difference. For example, it's not correct to say, what time do you get up? ¿A qué hora te levantas? Eh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. No. no. When do they take the bus, the subway? ¿Cuándo toman el, el, el subway? Eh, no, they don't. No, they don't. No. It's on Thursday and, and, and Tuesday and Thursday, right? Specific time. Huh? Good. Any question? Now listen again, please. Listen again. Page 39, exercise 7, grammar focus. Simple present questions. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he eat lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at 1 o'clock. Do they take the bus to class? No, they take the subway. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have dinner? At 8 o'clock. When do they take the subway? On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Good. Questions? Okay, now we're going to combine yes, no question and information question, right? Yes, no question and information question. Good. And here we have some expression, right? Early, temprano, right? Late, tarde. Every day, at night, at noon, at midnight, at, mm -hmm. at noon. At midnight, at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekdays, and on weekends, right? Okay, now, complete the question with do or does. What time do you or does you? Do you. Do you, correct. Do you. Number three. Do or does? Does your father. Does your father, right? Does your father work on weekends? Or? Yes. Does, does your mother. Your mother. Does your mother. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's just party. Does your mother cook every day? Do or, or does your parents? Do. 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 Because it's plural. Do. do. Because it's plural, right? ¿Cuántos papá tienen? Papá y mamá, right? It's two. Plural. Uh, sorry, do, right? Excuse me, perdón. Chaos. Chaos. Do, sorry. Estoy diciendo que do y escribo das. <laughs> okay. Continue. Uh, when do your parents or does your parents? Do, do because it's, it's, it's plural, do. right? Plural, correct. Do. Number three. Do or does? Do. 
do, do, you check. Do, right? Mm -hmm. And number eight, what time? Do you do, do right? When? Do you study? Do. do you study, right? And do or does your best friend ride to class? Does. Does because it's only one, right? Tu mejor amigo, tu chero. El chero. Chero. Okay, does your best friend drive to class? Good. And number 11. What time does or do your father get up? Does. Does your father. Do. Does because it, no, it does because it's your father. Right? Tu papá. Like Star Wars. Yo soy tu padre. Right? In Salvadorian, Star Wars. Yo soy tu tata. Say, right? <laughs> tata is for papá in El Salvador, right? Uh-huh. So what time does your father get up? Good. Now, please, repeat us to me. Repeat us to me. Do you get up early on weekdays? What time do you go home on Fridays? Does your father work on weekends? Does your mother cook every day? Do your parents read in the evening? When do your parents shop? Do you check your email at night? What time do you have dinner? When do you study? Does your best friend drive to class? What time does your father get up? Okay, prepare, please. This is one exercise. You're going to tell me yes, no, information. Yes, no, information. When it's just no question, it says, do you get up early on weekend? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What time do I, I get up at 7 o'clock? So, yes, no, question or information question. Good. Number one, please. Yes, no, or information. Number one. Information question. Mm, do you get up early on weekdays? What is the answer? Yes, no. Yes or no, right? So number one is? Yes, no question. <clears throat> yes, yes, no question. Number two, what time do you go home on Fridays? Information question. Information <clears throat> question. Yes, that's it, right? Number three, does your father work on weekends? Information yes. question too. No, because is does your father work on weekend? Yes, he does. No, yes, no doesn't. question. Yes, no question. Recuerden que las information question tienen cuatro partes. Ahí está la clave. Yes. W H. W H. Uh -huh, correct. Number five. Yes, no question or information. Okay. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Good. Number six. Yes, no question too. When do your parents shop? Information, Information. question. Information question, right? Bueno, la clave es porque ya veo que estamos un poco confundidos. Bueno, la clave va a ser aquí. Esta es la clave, miren. Cuando aparezca una palabra que tenga WH, ahí es cuando, ahí es cuando Chile Verde, ¿ok? WH question 
o también information, porque obtenemos información específica, ¿cuándo? Y tenemos cuatro partes, miren. Tenemos eh, when, do, your parents, WH word. Son cuatro partes, miren. WH word o WH question o information question, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ok, number six. Information o yes? No question. Yes, number no six. question. No, number six. No, sorry, sorry. Este, information question. Information, yeah. Ok. Number seven. <laughs> no do, do you check your email at night? Yes, no question. Ok. Number eight. What time do you have dinner? Information. Information. Information, question. Okay, Information question. Yeah, ya estamos llegando. Yes. Number nine. When do you study? Information question. Information. Does your best friend drive to class? Yes, no question. Yes, no question. And number eleven. What time does your father get up? Information, Information question. question. Information question. Okay. Good. Now we're going to make the last exercise. Vamos a ver el último ejercicio. Luego me quedo solo con Josué. Wait a minute here. Vamos a ver. Ok, por cuestión de tiempo lo vamos a hacer entre todos, ¿verdad? Good. Uh, here we have a question, right? Aquí tenemos una, una pregunta. Yes. What is the question? What this? Is, do you check your email every day? Yes, I check my email every day. Good. And next one. You, what time lunch do eat? What is the question? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? Correct. What time do you eat lunch? Number three. Ah, ah yes, number three. Das. Das. This class, this, start, class, start this class at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. Sí, ¿verdad? A las 8, pero aquí dice que no. Does this start start at 8 o'clock? Good. Question number one. Yes, no question or information question? Yes, no question. Yes, no, yes, no question. question. Yes, no question. Number two. What time do you eat lunch? Information question or yes? Information question. Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Yes, no question. No information question. No, right? Yes, no question. It's not. Information cuando tiene el WH. Yes? Recuerden, es que tiene dos nombres. Quizás eso es lo que lo, yo los confundí, quizás, permítanme. Que vamos a poner aquí. Yes, no question. Siempre que la oración, la pregunta va a ser respondida con un sí o con un no, ustedes digan, ah, esa es yes, no question. Eh, does Glenda live in Santa Ana? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, sí, vive en Santa Ana. Sí, does. does. O oh, no. No, no vive en Santana, no. No, she doesn't, right? No, she doesn't. Ok. Good. Pero si tenemos una pregunta de información o WS, ¿por qué WS? Ok. Eh, porque la palabra o las palabras que usamos llevan la W y la H. Por eso se llama WS question, right? O se llama information question. Tienen dos nombres. Se llaman WS words, WS question, perdón. 
porque las palabras con las que comienzan llevan una W y una H. Y se llaman Information Question porque damos información específica. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde? ¿Por qué? ¿Quién? ¿Con quién? Etcétera, etcétera. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando yo les diga Information Question, es la misma WH, es la misma pregunta. ¿Sí? Es la misma. ¿Ok? Ahí estamos, con la misma pregunta. ¿Sí? Good. Eh, entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, what do you like? Ya les dije que vamos a aprendernos las cuatro partes. What do you like? What, y question word, w is word, do, auxiliary, you is the subject, and like is the verb, right? Okay? What do you like? Yes, I do. No, right? Yes, I do, no. And is, I like pizza. Right? Información específica. ¿Qué es lo que te gusta? Me gusta, pero me asusto. Right? Like pizza. I like pizza. You know? <laughs> yes. No, what do you like? Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, no. Vean las respuestas. Son diferentes, ¿sí? Cada vez que ustedes vean el WH word aquí, es pregunta de información. ¿Sí? Pero si ya vemos el auxiliar de entrada, entonces este es de pregunta de sí y no. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Any question? Eh, no se preocupe porque mañana seguimos con este tema. Vamos a afianzarlo bien. ¿Ok? Eh, voy a pasar listado y me quedo con Josué. Diez minutitos. Yes. Ok. Ana María. Present. Thank you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Eh, Christian. Here. Have a good night. You too. Glenda. Present. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gisela. Griselda. Griselda. ¿Dónde me saqué? No. Griselda. <laughs> perdón, Griselda. Perdón. <laughs> eh, Josué. Present. Good. No se me voy a ir, Josué. No se me voy a ir. Eh, Marcela. Have a good night. You too, you too. Ok, permítame que aquí me equivoqué. Aquí era la cosa. Bueno, ok. Eh, Ernesto. Present teacher. Bye, bye bye. Mario. Present teacher. Have a good night. Marlon. Otmar. Present. Ok, thank you very much. Eh, Dago, Dago. Present, good night. Good night, God bless you, God bless you. Otmar. I have to Present. Come. Good, thank you, Otmar. And Saúl, Saúl ya no está, ¿verdad? Eh, ok. Marlon and Otmar, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Take care. Goodbye. Have a good night. Ok, Josué. Any question? Sí. Okay. <coughs> Tema que quisiera que repasáramos, algo que todavía no le quede claro. O sea, eh, lo único que tengo, por ejemplo, es el do y el dasem. Es que cuando estudiaba, este, como le explico, siempre tengo como el, el problema de que cuando... Fundirlas. Ajá, este. Fundirla, ahí vale. me, cuesta, me cuesta dónde utilizarlo. Vaya, eh, le vamos a compartir una pantalla aquí blanco para para poder escribir, ok va, mire eh, básicamente lo que usted tiene que entender es que, oh, ¿qué pasó aquí? que no, permítame, no me deja escribir, ahí estamos y básicamente las preguntas de en inglés este, llevan el auxiliar el do y el das ¿verdad? ¿Y qué significan eso del do y el das en español, eh, José? Nada. Para nosotros no significa nada absolutamente. Porque, perdón, nosotros en español lo que hacemos es conjugar el verbo. O sea, usted dice, por ejemplo, usted dice, yo corro, tú corres, ellos corren, nosotros corremos. 
o en negativo decimos no corro, no corren, no corremos. Y en pregunta es, ¿corres? ¿Corremos? Entonces, lo que vamos haciendo vos es transformando el verbo. Pero en inglés, mire. Mire cómo es en inglés. I run. You run. They run. We run. Si se fija, el verbo no cambia. Siempre es el mismo el verbo, ¿sí? Tal sí. vez podemos agregar ING o S, pero el verbo como que permanece lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, solo sufre transformación, pero en el ING, en el caso de estar haciéndolo. Ajá, o en el caso de tercera persona, she o he, se le agrega una S, así, por ejemplo. Ajá. He runs, ¿verdad? Ajá. O sea, lo más, pero no decimos eh, Rone o Runi o run no sé. O sea, no, tra no transformamos el verbo. Entonces, en inglés, ¿cómo sé yo...? José, ¿de qué estoy hablando? Estoy hablando del presente, del futuro, del pasado. Si el verbo es igual, ¿cómo voy a hacer? ¿Ok? Entonces, sí, para, tendríamos, para, ¿cómo es la pregunta? Tenemos que usar el auxiliar. El auxiliar sirve para eso, para distinguir cuando la oración es en pasado, presente o futuro, o presente continuo, ¿sí? Sí. Para eso nos sirve el auxiliar. Y en el caso del presente simple, el auxiliar dure en das lo vamos a usar. Lo vamos a usar. Ok. En negativos. I do not eat chicken. Yo no como pollo. Lo vamos a hacer en preguntas. Do you live in a house? ¿Vives en una casa? O sería como sería como que lo, utiliz, lo utilizamos entonces en el presente, digamos en lo que el do es? y el das es exclusivo del presente, José. Solo en el presente lo usa en el futuro y el pasado, no. Solo en el presente. Y lo va a usar en oraciones negativas y en preguntas. Ahora bien, eh, cuando usamos el do y el das, ahí sí se lo tiene que memorizar. Ahí no hay para dónde. ¿Sí? Sí. El do se usa para I, you, we y they. Y para los plurales. Ejemplos. Vaya, ponga, hagamos una oración negativa aquí. I don't run in the morning. You. You don't speak Arabic. <laughs> we. We do not, or don't, contractado, ¿verdad? Don't uh, like pasta. They don't They don't, what, eh, swim. O en plurales, miren. The students es un nombre plural, ¿verdad? Sí. O puede decir, eh, Josué, Josué en Mario. Don't like, digamos que no le gusta la pizza. Sería raro, pero sí. digamos que no le gusta. O puede poner también, mire, the students. ¿Ok? Sí. Muy bien. Y en oraciones, en tercera persona es, she doesn't, mire, no es don't, sino que doesn't eh, run. He doesn't, eh, what? Write. No escribe, ¿verdad? Él no escribe. Ok, entonces el don lo va a usar con este que están aquí arriba. Y el das lo va a usar con él. Con el chi. Y chi e it. Y todos los singulares. Todos los singulares, ¿sí? Y también lo puedo usar en preguntas, miren. 
Hacemos una pregunta acá. Do you live in San Salvador? Ok. Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? Y en tercera persona, does he like ice cream? ¿Le gusta el sorbete? O oh, where does he eat? ¿Dónde come él? ¿Ya? Entonces, sí. fíjense bien, miren. En las negativas usamos don't o doesn't. Y en las preguntas usamos do o das. Pero ya, todo, ya, ya. todo tiene que ver con esto, mire, José. Con que se memorice cuando usamos el do y cuando usamos el das. Sí, ahí y sería entonces dependiendo con qué verbo se utiliza. No, no, no. no de nombre, pronombre. O con, no, con qué persona. Ah, sí, sí, las personas. La persona, primera persona, segunda persona o tercera persona. Yeah. Ahí está. Vaya, esto lo puede ver en el video en la plataforma o puede darle captura de pantalla ahorita si quiere. José. Sí, ya, ya le di. Excelente, oso. Muy bien. Entonces, el consejo de siempre, Josué, escuchar música, ver películas en inglés, con subtítulos en inglés, ¿verdad? Y aprovechar cualquier oportunidad para practicar su inglés, Josué. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta extra? No, solamente es así. Solamente, ok. Josué, it's a pleasure. I hope you have a good night. Espero que tenga una feliz noche. Gracias, igual. See you tomorrow. Primero día. Ok, bye bye.